a very disappointing judgment from the High Court now, which is certainly going to encourage the government to think that it will be able to start deporting people to Rwanda. We are opposed to that for a wide range of reasons, including Rwanda's own human rights record and its need to address the rights of people who have sought asylum on its territory. This country, the UK, ought instead to simply be addressing the rights to asylum of people who have sought asylum on its, the UK's territory, rather than seeking to expel people and wash its hands of its own responsibilities by passing them to Rwanda. Is it going to have an impact on whether people seek asylum in the UK? And I think the answer to that is that it is unlikely to deter people from making dangerous journeys to seek safety in the UK, but it might deter people from coming forward and making themselves known to the authorities. And if that is what happens, there will just be more people making very dangerous journeys only to be thoroughly exploited in the UK because they are having to hide. In terms of the impact in the region of Rwanda, I don't think that the small number of people being expelled, if that's what happens to Rwanda, is going to have an impact directly. But in terms of the signal that it sends to Rwanda, or indeed anywhere else in the world, that the UK is not prepared to take its responsibilities, but prefers to try and shunt them on to somebody else. Well, that's a disastrous message. And there are obviously hundreds of thousands of people displaced in the region of Rwanda. They need government standing up to protect them, not thinking that they too can try and shunt their responsibilities on like the UK is trying to do.